Hello and welcome to yet another episode, the second one actually, uh, not too many have gone by, of uh, Let's Talk With Me, uh, your host Vineet Bakshi. Uh, every week I try and get uh, interesting people to come on the show, someone who's got a hobby, somebody who's used it to beat the lockdown or uh, you know, um, to take their hobby. Ko leke, time pass kiya hai, what does their hobby mean to them? Plus also, you know, ki unki hobby uh, unke uh, mein, uh, kitna rakti hai, kya wo abhi bhi continue kar rahe hai, because you know a lot of us as kids we have hobbies, but in uh age chalte chalte, jase um bade one lakte hai, to hobbies chut jati hai, lo kete hai, bade o gayo, yes of chile choro, thora seriousness me focus karo. So anyway. The point is that we still want to uh, showcase such people who still have a hobby or uh, they call it a life because jinki uh, hobby nahi hai, well, you know, lockdown ke andar aapki kitni buri halat hoi hogi, lekin jinki hai, they would have had a whale of a time, no more office work, no more school work. Well, there is technically work from home, but yeah, we know how much work from home. But anyway, yeah, so they got a lot of time to do that. Last week, uh, we had uh, Kuber Wagle with us. Uh, he's a lawyer based out of Mumbai who's got a crazy die-cast collection of Hot Wheels, green light, basically uh, small ones to 64 scale model cars. And uh, this week, we thought that we'd try and take it up a notch. We'd like to get somebody else also who also grew up playing with die-cast cars. But as they grew up, they made die-cast cars ko ek passion se apna career a career. Well, let's just meet him. Uh, we've got Ashish from Studio 34. So he's there with us. Let me just get him on and uh, let him tell his story to you. Ashish, welcome Hi, to Let's Vinita, Talk. How are you? I'm good, Ashish. How are you doing? All good, all good. Good to see you. And it's likewise, my friend. I mean, social distancing, ke dauran, even though you stayed quite close by to my place in uh, New Delhi, but uh, milna nahi hua. last time I think uh, pe bhi aap nahi aasake the. but uh, I, I was traveling for some work back then. We had a project going on and uh, there were some really tight deadlines going on at that point of time. So I was traveling, could not uh, join you in the meet. But I, I'm sure I missed out on some good fun along with the other collectors then. Well, yes, you did. You missed out on a lot of fun, but we missed you. I, I think uh, that's uh, that's the point, actually. Uh, our community is uh, si hai. You are also a community ke ek bahut bade hisse hai. But uh, <laughs> After all, uh, they say size does matter, right? <laughs> size does matter, my friend. Size does matter. I've always said that you are a community of a big hisse hai. So, yeah, it was a little bit of a But... Uh, Tell us, viewers, a little bit about yourself. I've told them that, uh, you know, you were a die-cast collector, like we collect scale model cars. Karte hai. And then you grew up, but like, you turned your uh, passion into a career. So take us back to your childhood. Uh, tell me about uh, when you started collecting, what the deal was and everything. So basically, I was actually introduced to, uh, you know, the small Hot Wheels. Back then, it hmm. was the Leo Metal Hot Wheels uh, that was coming in India. So I was introduced to them by my father. Sorry, I was born in 85. I was born in 85. So Gee. I'm talking about, I think, around uh, the last memory that I have is, I think, around 87, 88. Uh, right. About like 30 years back. So Gee. I remember my father introducing me to uh, these uh, die-cast cars. And, right. uh, you know... Uh, as a small kid, you know, I obviously used to play a lot uh, with them. And mm -hmm. uh, over a period of time, I figured out that I like cars more than anything else. And whether it was die-cast cars or it was the pedal Jeeps that I uh, got or the cycle okay. or, you know, whatever. I mean, anything with wheels was something that like literally drew me to itself. And uh, motorcycles you know, too? I, yeah, yeah, motorcycles too. I am, uh, I am a biker. I am a biker Achha. by choice. I would okay. say uh, my father okay. doesn't like it, uh, uh -huh. but then he doesn't have a choice anymore. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. so you know, back then, uh, you know, when it was the metal uh, Hot Wheels, uh, right. so 
I used to get one every uh, birthday or one every occasion kind of a thing. Like if it was my father's birthday, I would get one. If it was my mother's birthday, I would get one as a return gift kind of a thing. So slowly and steadily, those were there. But uh, you know, so uh, you thought it. Tha. I mean, कुछ भी चीज़ हो, कभी भी कुछ हो, तो कोई tension नहीं होती थी कि यार आशीष के लिए क्या लेके देना है. उसके लिए कार्ड भी बड़ा खुश हो जाएगा. हाँ, बस. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Even today, देना. for that matter, you know, uh, uh, the only thing is my wife has a problem uh, that she has a problem with is basically कि इसको गाड़ी कौन सी देनी है जो इसके पास अच्छा, नहीं है. अच्छा, ये तो confirm है कि इसको गाड़ी ही देनी है. Achha, so it's like that, you know, anything and everything, whatever the occasion, you know, one car and you know, I'm sorted. So it's like I that. Uh, but so, back then, there yeah. was yeah. one thing, you know. We I would watch movies. You know, uh-huh. so movies yeah. के अंदर car accidents होते थे. ठीक है. अब Hot Wheels को आपने टक्कर कराया, car accident हुआ तो dent नहीं आता ना. So I would Achha. take up a hammer and literally bash them to get the oh actual effects. So I broke my quite a, quite 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 a good number of those back then. अच्छा. Uh, then I grew up. Uh, through the school years it was okay not many uh, you know hot wheels came coming in uh, meanwhile uh, hot wheels also kind of like withdrew from india for a while in the middle so uh, once i started uh, getting into the job and i started earning then the whole thing kind of like came back no so, but tell us about this job thing i mean i mean like i, I got a little lost there aapne school khatam kiya uske baad fir aapne kya kiya what was your education like how did you get into uh, cars is so a profession school, see i come from a small town i come from a small town called ambala uh, near see. chandigarh so uh, back then when i was finishing school i really did not know uh, ki car design ya car designer koi profession hota hai ya you could actually see. make a living out of it so for me uh, you know coming from a small town the overall uh, uh, information that i had was you could either become a lawyer you could become a doctor you could become an engineer or you could do your own business so i preferred engineering and uh, i did my engineering in computers but uh, while i was doing my engineering i actually realized there was a profession there was a professional course that one Achha, could so do aapko actual education mili right yes 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 that's when you when i actually opened up you know i spoke to a lot of other people i started getting in touch with uh, some designers who were already working in the industry at that point of time Uh, right. internet was very limited at that point of time but there were just a couple of them who responded and i would like just grab on to them and you know uh, get as much information as possible hmm by the time i finished my engineering i was pretty sure that uh, this is exactly what i want and right. uh, so i just followed this thing with complete uh, you know uh, passion and you know complete dedication in fact i uh, ended up doing my masters in italy Uh, Achha. in uh, Achha. Torino which is actually Achha. considered Achha. the design capital for automotive in the world so Achha. i was Achha. there uh, in a batch of 18 people out of which only two were indians one of them Achha. luckily Achha. wow so it must have been very tough to get into uh, such a prestigious design school so is it is it tough to get into something like that it is it is it is really tough you know so uh, uh, koi entrance exam hota hai ya kyunki aap to aap to बेसिकली डिजाइन के बैकग्राउंड से थे ही नहीं आपका तो कंप्यूटर इंजीनियरिंग का बैकग्राउंड था और आपने स्ट्रीम चेंज करनी है इफ यू यू हैव अ गुड पोर्टफोलियो कैन ऑलवेज गो इन यू नो द बैकग्राउंड रियली डज नॉट मैटर यस इट मैटर्स टू अ सर्टेन एक्सटेंट बट यू नो इफ यू हैव अ गुड पोर्टफोलियो यू कैन ऑलवेज मेक अप फॉर इट सो लकीली फॉर मी आई वाज ऑलवेज स्केचिंग यू नो इवन इन द आर्ट क्लासेस इन द स्कूल आई वुड ओनली ड्रॉ कार्स I think from class second or so, I never drew anything other than cars. Like even right. if teachers asked me to draw a scenery, the focus on the scenery was less, and the focus on the car was much more that was there in the scenery. So the right. details were much more in the cars and all. So, so we've got Tapa, and he's uh, he's asking uh, you into collecting uh, car models uh, also. Yes. Yes. So I yeah, Tapa. So. Tapan, he's uh, he's into collecting car models also, and uh, we'll come to that later. I think he's got a few of them in the background. So yeah, yeah. Uh, this is a, a small percentage of my collection as of now. I'm actually in the middle of packing up my house and shifting to a new place. That's why right. you know the shelves are kind of empty. But 
what you can see at the back right now is probably just about one third of the total collection that I have. Okay, cool. We'll we'll come to that later. Let's go back to your college years. Uh, so yeah. uh, more again. So you got into this college and it was hard to get into college. आप पहुंच गए वहां पे इटली में जाके तो बहुत मजा आ रहा होगा आपको वैसे भी इतना सुंदर है आई मीन नॉट नाउ यू नो अब तो सब बाहर से दूर भी भाग रहे हैं टेंपरेचर्स वर गुड द गर्ल्स वर गुड फॉर श्योर आ बट देयर वाज वन थिंग कि उस टाइम पे पैसा अपना नहीं था पैसा पिताजी का था सो उड़ाने से पहले सोच रहे थे सो एंड इट वाज आल्सो अबाउट द फैक्ट कि यू नो आई हैड गॉन देयर टू बिकम समथिंग एंड इट वाज हार्ड लाइक यू नो uh getting my parents to agree to let me go because first of all they did not know about the field second of right. all it was uh, hard for them to let uh, you know me just go straight up uh, to a different country different continent altogether so mm. uh, it was quite a hard time uh, trying to get them uh, to make me uh, you know let me go but mm. and also you know when we reached there you know uh, like we used to say back then you know italians ka jo sketching skill hai and mm. uh, Something about their design feel and design aesthetics is something which is just not comparable at all. It's like you know they they you know are born with uh, pencils and you know paint brushes in their hand. They're that good artists and that good in terms of design. So when we look at Michelangelo, when we looked at their works, we were like, shit, ऐसा भी कुछ करना होता है क्या design में? We didn't know anything okay. like this. we card then were just sketching a couple of cars here and there and just being happy and merry about it but uh, you know the first couple of months were really tough they opened up our eyes and uh, one thing i decided in my head was that you know bhai ab aa to gaye hain kuch to ban ke hi jayenge and by Achha, the time i'm sorry uh, i'm sorry to interrupt but sakar has a question uh, yeah. sakar is asking uh, what is your favorite hot wheels casting and which one do you love the most See, I don't have one particular Hot Wheels uh, favorite, uh, but of late, the Gulf uh, Limited Edition series, which had come out, were pretty detailed, and they were like one of the best that I've had so far. So yeah, I mean, no one in particular, but there are quite a few. But the most recent one was uh, the Gulf one, the Gulf right. set, which came. So the Gulf set, uh, which which was your favorite car in that? The Cinquecento. Ah, yes. Yes, 500 Italian, modified. Italian. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, so we've got another uh, another question from Rajit. I'm just going to pull that up. Uh, Rajit is asking. Uh, you can see it on your screen that do you think Indian yes, colleges yes. Uh, lack good automobile design courses? See, it's not about a good automobile design course which is lacking. It is about a good faculty which is lacking. There are not many people in India who really want to take up, uh, you know, teaching. uh also uh, there is another thing that most of the colleges in india are uh, thriving majorly on just promoting the course in terms of a uh, value uh, in terms of a feel but uh, not really having that many uh, people uh, skilled people on board to like really take the people through the course and you know get the children to come out as good designers plus uh, frankly if you look at it uh, you really don't need a college uh, to go to to learn the skills because everything is available online everything is available on youtube and uh, google can help you find a lot of stuff and uh, it's not like uh, what it used to be back in my days where uh, the access to internet was quite limited right now access to internet is pretty open and uh, you can pretty much find and learn anything that you want Uh, you really don't need a college but as far as indian industry is concerned i think it's they still come down to the fact that if you don't have a degree they won't offer you a job but yeah, you can always work as a freelancer or something like that that's what i think i mean it's more about the faculty right and also well uh, before we took this question you were you were talking about the italian design sense i think that also plays an important part kyunki jahan se aapne apna design ka course kiya hai and compared to what we have in india i mean i'm sure you know we are also a land of a uh, very rich culture and heritage but when we talk about art when we talk about painting when we talk about design i think that's where europe and especially italy jahan se apna design course i think everything just flows it's in their ब्लड पता नहीं वो सुबह क्या खा के उठते हैं कि यू नो द रेंडरिंग्स आर फैंटास्टिक यू नो सिंपल देयर इज नो सिंपल आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन बट आई विल जस्ट ट्राई एंड कीप इट सिंपल इन माय ओन टर्म्स 
Uh, what i've seen is that you know indian culture is very very rich very uh, you know versed, uh, very uh, varied but the whole point is that we never really took a, uh, took the industrial leap uh, in terms of you know uh, going ahead in terms of an industrial revolution or uh, you know designing something on those lines so right. ours has always on been on a very artistic and a user oriented uh, approach like if you look okay. at it uh, yeah. from the you know the past the kind of bartan you have with the kind of kapde you have and not the stitched ones they are all like sari and you know dhoti and stuff like that which right. is like a single piece of cloth that you you know wrap around it's not like stitched coat pant which is more industrial in its right. feel so right. india is good but it never really took the plunge into that industrial aspect so Where, is that why uh, you decided to go to Italy and uh, not even try India? No, I did power. try in India. I did try in yeah. India. I had given my NID and IIT exams. I couldn't clear the IIT exam. I had uh, gone through my uh, written exams at NID, but I could not clear the uh, studio test in the first go. And uh, meanwhile, while I was preparing for the second uh, attempt to NID, this. Uh, IED, uh, the chance at IED came along, and I did not want to waste my time and miss it. So I just picked it up, you know, and uh, just went to Italy. Uh, so we, uh, but going there was actually something good uh, because we got a lot of exposure. We worked with uh, a lot of uh, yeah, professionals. Yeah, exposure, yes. yeah. So there were people from different countries. There were people. There were teachers who were working as professionals in the industry who were teaching us. Uh, right. so we had our classes in the evening we never had our classes in the morning like we have it in india so my classes right. used to be from 6:30 to 10:30 in the evening i see because that's because when, when these uh, people would uh, finish yeah. their uh, so they would yeah. finish up their jobs in the office and then come to the school to teach us and right. uh, that's how it was and uh, eventually i finished off my course in 2008 and right. uh, we finished off uh, with the uh, full scale uh, clay model Uh, for a Maserati that we had designed as right. the team project for the class, and that was displayed at 2008 uh, Geneva Motor Show. Excellent. Yes. So it was called uh, Maserati Chicane, hmm. and uh, I was on the uh, team uh, that worked on the interiors for oh, wow. uh, that particular car. So, so interiors was much... showcased as a 3D model, uh, right? But the rest of it was a full scale physical model. Fabulous. So you did your college from there, and after that, uh, you came back to India. Was it easy to get a job as a car designer, or I don't know, what did you call yourself as a design student? What? I I was actually looking for jobs uh, back in two thousand eight. If you remember, there was a huge meltdown, economic crisis, which came along. Uh, right. Luckily for me, I came back to India just maybe a month, month and a half before it really hit the world. Right. uh but there were signs of it because of which there were uh, really no jobs uh, there in europe or in italy because italy and europe were kind of on the brink of uh, bankruptcy and a lot of other things going wrong but luckily mm. for me you know i had a couple of uh, interview calls so i came back oh, to right india right. yeah so i gave my interviews i got through in almost all of them That's and uh, one of them was uh, honda two wheelers right. uh and it was an obvious choice because honda was the biggest brand name that was offering me a job so right. <laughs> there was there was no uh, you know second thoughts about it and i picked up the job at honda and i started working as a motorcycle designer excellent yes so that was cool and after that uh, i think you worked with maruti as well yes so i was uh, with honda for about 3 years 2011 i moved from honda to maruti uh, i did not really want to like get myself stereotyped as a motorcycle designer and i wanted to learn more and uh, so cars were the next best thing to go Excellent. to and uh, luckily an opportunity came up at maruti and uh, i happened to get through the interview and maruti ne aapne kaun si gaadi design ki abhi jo production mein alto k10 chal rahi hai that is something uh, which has a lot of my work uska rear uh, was actually developed on a key sketch that was made by me I see the tail lamps, the rear tailgate, the rear bumper, and everything. So the front was a friend of mine, uh, whose sketch was uh, taken up, 
and eventually we took it all the way to production the second project which has uh, me working in a very very uh, major dedicated capacity was vitara brenza which is mm, still the yes the key sketch which went through to final production was uh, my team leaders my bosses sketch uh, right. but yeah we worked on that project day and night for almost about like 8 months to get to wow. the final sketch and the final clay model yeah so quite a so, quite a yeah yeah this is this is crazy but you know some of the terms jo aap use kar rahe hai clay model ye wo hame kuch samajh nahi aa raha to maruti chhod ke uske baad aapne apna kaam shuru kiya i believe uh nahi maruti ke baad i went to hero for a while uh, i was okay. working with hero motor cop uh, right. the reason being ki abhi two wheeler mein kaam kiya tha fir four wheeler mein kaam kiya tha so i realized two wheelers was something a little bit more interesting because there were more parts to design and there was something which was more, more visible more parts in a two wheeler wow, that's surprising i thought car mein four wheels bigger darwaze ye wo no, to car is like if you look at it darwaze nahi hote chatti hoti hai windshield nahi hota i mean like, but car ke case mein it's more like a blanket you know all okay. the mechanical parts are inside you don't see those right. parts right? right so it's like a blanket covering uh, the entire you know mechanical aspect but in case right. of scooters or motorcycles you see a lot of these mechanical components so those mechanical components also need to be designed so you get in That's touch with a lot right. more, yes right. so you get in touch with a lot more people you right. uh, there are so many engineers that you uh, need to deal with somebody is doing an engine somebody is doing some other part of the chassis and uh, somebody is just working on you know uh, assembly of the entire bike and uh, somebody is working on a subframe or you know tail lamp head lamp something like that so you get to work with a lot more people you get to learn a lot more you know a little bit of knowledge from here and there ultimately makes up for so, the entire so, thing so so if i get it right jo aap keh rahe hain ki ek individual koi ek puri bike ya gaadi design nahi karta you have somebody else designing right. something somebody it's else it's always like... a team work it is always so, a team work to so, ek ek gaadi ya bike design karne mein kitne logon ki team lagti hai i mean how many people uh, how long does it take what is the process if you if you if you talk about a car then there's an exterior styling team that works on the exteriors now right. exteriors includes the overall body shape headlamps tail lamps grills grill details you know uh, spoilers body kits accessories all of that comes to exteriors then uh, there's a team which works on the interiors the team on the interior works on how the dashboard looks like how the speedometer will look like what kind of colors and finishes will come on to those how your uh, screen will get fit on to the dashboard how your uh, you know the radio buttons or your uh, interface buttons come across so all of that is part done by the interior styling team then you have a color uh, color material finish and textures team which basically works on the softer aspects of design what colors should the car go out in how will the uh, decal uh, come on to the car you know what font and uh, what thickness of the font what size of the font what name and even the textures that you see on the dashboards they are all worked up you know uh, the yeah, cmf yeah. team uh, decides what textures will come how much gloss on those textures what kind of paint oh on God. the so it's a, it's a, it's a huge huge uh, you know work which cannot be done by a single person it is always a team work that comes out awesome so sammy this got a question i'm putting it up on the screen uh, sammy singh uh, asks uh, what are the areas outside the traditional automotive world that uh, you draw inspiration from anything and everything works on this inspirational uh, front sometimes it's just maybe a cool scenery that you've seen or a cool picture that you come across uh, of uh, maybe a landscape that gives you a certain kind of a feel uh sometimes it's uh, uh maybe a girl whom whose picture you see or whom you would just wa- see walking past so that inspires something or that maybe looks like something sometimes you just look up at clouds and they look like something sometimes it's um birds or other animals or something like that so it all depends it 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 depends uh, on what kind of a mood you are in what kind of a project you are working on like for example if you uh talk about an suv an suv is a rugged it's a heavy duty it's a boxy uh, you know chiseled surfaces kind of a thing so i'm talking about a hardcore suv here 
now for a hardcore suv you probably would not look at uh, maybe a bird uh, for a reference or an inspiration you would probably look at an elephant uh, for a reference but if you're doing a sports car you will not look at an elephant you would probably look at a maybe you know a vulture or something like that uh, so it depends what kind of a project you're working on uh, what kind of a mood you need to be in uh, to get your uh, project sketches through so it varies inspiration can come in from anywhere oh uh, great answer so so tell us more now i uh, yeah so you've got your own uh, firm i believe now aapka apna design studio hai uh, what's it called do you, how many people do you have working for you and uh, i finally wow. ended up in my own uh, design studio uh, with That's three right. of my partners who happened to be my friends my roommates my colleagues while i was studying in italy so i have right. known them for more than a decade now all of us are car designers by profession and right. uh, we had a dream back then which has kind of come true so we are struggling hard to keep on with that dream even in these tough times uh, but yeah we started about 3 uh, years back with an investor on board so the company is called uh, studio 34 and right. uh, we currently work with almost all the major oes and a lot of right. startups uh Uh, working on electric mobility in india right now uh, we are working with them in different capacities uh, working with them on advanced design projects uh, working on you know future design of their regular production cars in a lot of cases we are working on accessories with them in a lot in uh, some other cases we are making prototypes for them where their internal team has done the sketches and given us uh, you know outsourced the remaining job to us so we are working with everybody in uh, some capacity at this point of time you have something to show us about your studio kya hai uh, you know can you do, do you have some pictures yeah, I or have, something I, i have a video of uh, there's an av of our studio uh, okay. i just share the screen and uh, you know uh, show it pull to it you up, all man. yeah pull it up let's let's see your studio guys get ready for this uh, Ashish is going to show, show us his uh, studio, and I believe it's very big. If you are up, can you see the screen? Button. And we have the screen with us. Okay, so this is uh, the studio. Why don't you show us? Tell us what this whole thing is. Yeah. So as we enter, uh, there was a motif that we have done. my team has done out of scrap metal and scrap automotive parts this is the entrance the reception as we go up we enter the design gallery which houses some of our internal projects that we've done over the last few years a lot of this cannot be shown out uh, the work that we do that cannot be shown out so this is all only the internal project work that we have done so far uh, we've been working very extensively on developing our own language based on indian aesthetics Uh, some of the free hand sketches that me and my team do whenever we are free one of the handmade models it's called uh, speed form this is one of the models uh, which has been cnc milled and painted one of the bikes that we did for uh, a senior of ours who's a bike enthusiast so here you enter uh, the modeling studio basically this is the conference room for the modeling studio uh the modeling studio basically means uh, refers to the clay studio that we have in tiki there this is a design studio and uh, this is my design team some of the sketches that we have so we sketch on the screens uh, cintiqs we sketch by hand some dining area that we have for uh, visitors who come in library of uh, books so this is the clay modeling studio that i was talking about one of the guys working on a 1 is to 3 scale model this is an internal uh, exercise that we have currently going on then we have a paint booth to top it up to finish off the jobs that we do we do a lot of prototyping work uh, which can be finished off in the uh, in the paint studio I mean that that was royal. I mean we we were totally blown away, man. How can I get a job with you guys? You know the place looks so cool. It's so spick and span, clean, nice. Uh, I noticed a fridge over there, and I'm sure it's loaded with coke and everything else uh, the one needs. 
but yes. uh, but fabulous man congratulations this place looks amazing uh, i'm definitely coming for a visit and uh, most welcome yeah most welcome now, so so we've got uh, saurabh kori with us he's got a very long and interesting question so i'm just going to pull it up on screen uh, there you go can you read the screen yeah okay so yeah given the fact and the path that tesla and other electric automotive makers are heading uh where they have muted the driving experience aspect of cars and are focusing on creature comforts and other experiences what do you think the automotive industry is heading with respect you know to the new normal so wow see it's an it's a very interesting question and uh, you know i feel anybody who's uh, old school will not like uh, this new normal but uh, i feel the newer generation the upcoming uh, you know the kids who are growing up i guess for them it's the, this normal is the normal it's they've not seen what the cars have been in the past they have not seen the big v8s or the american muscle cars or the kind of cars that have been there you know that uh, we saw uh, while we were growing up so for these guys uh, you know it's all about tech uh, you know smartphones uh, you know smart stuff you know doing zip zap over the screens so i think for them uh, the sound and all the other things really don't uh, uh, i mean for them uh, it's not that big a deal i would say it would uh, matter but uh, not to that big an extent like it was to us because for us it was uh, driving some kind of a passion and a feel uh, in us it it was it was actually driving some kind of an emotion in us like for example you know you would talk uh, to your friends about you know what kind of a sound a particular engine made and what kind of a feeling you had you know your hair kind of standing up on the arms and stuff like that so for that uh, the electric cars really don't have that part but yes since they don't have this they are focusing on the creature comforts and a new architecture for cars is uh, coming up everybody is looking at newer ways of uh, tackling the interiors and the architecture of uh, cars so i think from that aspect the newer generation is kind of growing into this so for them this is the normal it's not the new normal for them it's the new normal for people like me maybe or people like we need maybe who may or may not I be that is fast, my friend yes yes i saw that you saw the hair yes i've left it intentionally <laughs> on because you know it gives me certain respect and all otherwise i just don't get any so that's the problem <laughs> we have to do this yeah look says they are senior okay whatever so that's the only way to get right. respect so yeah coming back to that so your studio looks amazing thank you for answering this question i have sort of got his answer um so tapan has also asked a question but that's about the design language of bmw i think we'll take that up a little later uh coming back to your hobby now so uh, you know you started off as uh, collecting cars and things like that now you're into designing real world cars or motorcycles itna shandar studio hai aapka you've got great clients all over and uh, but do you still collect i mean has I your hobby of designing cars taken over your and uh, what else do you do do you do you also write about it koi blog hai aapka koi facebook page i i collect but, i collect very specific models uh, the whole design being a designer part of it has uh, kind of opened up the world because i've come in uh, contact with uh, and i've got to know about a lot of cars that a lot of normal people don't really know about you know if you actually talk to a lot of collectors most of the people start off and stick around uh, uh, no offenses to anybody but they stick around the regular ferraris lamborghinis and you know the known brands ferrari come on did you say ferraris i am i know <laughs> that's why i said no offense to anyone but you know right. uh, the lamborghinis ferraris are pretty much the known brand names uh, okay. in terms of cars but there have been quite a few uh, concept cars which have been ground breaking i would say in the field of automotive design uh, which so not a lot of people now from, yeah so you collect now from a perspective of design per se and obviously yes. you can uh, yes. so, 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 आपने तो गाड़ियों के बारे में पढ़ा है डिग्री होगी आपके पास तो आप तो वो चीजें देखते ही नहीं होंगे ना जो आम जनता देखती है आप नहीं तो नहीं, तो नहीं ऐसा कुछ नहीं है मैं वो चीजें नहीं देखता हूँ 
पीछे काफी सारे लगे हुए हैं लेकिन नॉर्मल कार बट दिस वन बींग दर्ल्ड स्मॉलेस्ट कार इज एक्चुअली क्वाइट स्मॉल इफ यू लुक एट इट सो the good story part about this was the being the world's smallest car just a 50 cc engine a moped engine two stroke and the uh, the most interesting part is this was made in isle of man where you know you have the world's most dangerous motorcycle race the isle of man tt happening a uh, second uh, one would be a concept car from gm uh, the firebird one this is a 1953 One is to eighteen scale, one nineteen fifty three Firebird one. This is another one is to eighteen scale model, pretty rare uh, model actually, uh, not easily uh, to be found. Then, uh, sorry to cut in, but uh, who makes that uh, model? I mean, ये जो आपने अभी दिखाया one is to eighteen वाला कौन सी company बनाती है ये model? So Peel is actually made by a company called DNA Collectibles. Right. yeah and uh, the fireboard here is i think uh, i'm forgetting the name uh, it's made by tsm uh, models so these uh, they're pretty expensive pretty uh, what do you say rare uh, to find but so so uh, more cool. so, so more hold, hold it in your hand i'm sure the viewers want to see the scale models as well yeah and tell us about them yeah so this uh, firebird was basically the first uh, in the series of uh, three cars uh, that gm made where they were actually experimenting with uh, turbine engines so this actually has a jet turbine engine which is basically a fighter aircraft engine uh, for a road car so the first one was a single seater as you can see over here it was very highly uh, you know uh, massively uh, aeroplane like uh, the other ones were slightly more car like uh, with uh, having more uh, passenger capacity as compared to the first uh, firebird one but these were experimental prototypes uh, which uh, didn't really make it to production but uh, the aerodynamics part of it uh, kind of the studies that came out of the aerodynamics really you know went forward and went ahead uh, another one a uh, very interesting car that i have over here is This is another one is to eighteen scale model. This is a land speed record car. Uh, this is an MG EX one eight one. This uh, held the land speed record uh, in nineteen fifty nine. If you look at this, it's a completely aerodynamic uh, teardrop shape. Beautiful green color. Uh, you know, one of the only MGs uh, that I have. And uh, this one again happens to be a very rare uh, MG model. uh sometime i actually i was talking to a friend of mine who works at mg and we got talking about scale models and he happened to ask me if i had an mg model and i told him about this and he was like dude you really have that because i i don't know many people who know about that car existing so like i said you know being a designer uh, you know uh, my kind of like uh, you know the infatuation went towards cars which were different which were not regular run of the mill cars so these are just few of those i do have quite a bit of uh, the regular cars as well i collect uh, 64 scale hot wheels uh, kyoshos uh, and other uh, you know uh, the tlvs the tomica limited vintage cars uh, then there are the um, a major chunk of my collection is actually in 43 and uh, 64 scales and uh, you know a good part of the collection in terms of the mula has actually gone down in those two scales 
Yeah. So how many how many cars do you have? Uh, are you the one that likes to count your cars? Yeah, kuch apke pas hisab kitab ya dilbar aadmi ho gaya. No, no, I have an approximate number. Okay. I think I have about about 1200 odd models. Very good. आप इतना शर्म से क्यों बोल रहे हैं आपकी बीवी देख रही है क्या आपको पता है नहीं या हेलो या कैन यू हियर मी आई थिंक वी विल जस्ट या या सो आई वाज आई वाज सेइंग आई हैव एन अप्रोक्सीमेट नंबर आई थिंक आई हैव अबाउट 1200 कार्स वही मैं कह रहा हूं इतना हां इतना आप यू नो एक्साइटेड हो कि नहीं बोल रहे इज योर वाइफ वाचिंग द शो और समथिंग इन द अदर रूम हां बट इज इन द अदर रूम Yeah. Okay. She has actually been quite supportive. I right. would frankly say she's been very supportive uh, right. of this hobby of mine. Right. Because uh, now it's your profession. Now, तो कोई कुछ बोल ही नहीं सकता ना. जब भी आप कोई नई गाड़ी लेके आओगे, वो बोलेंगे किसलिए लेके आए हो? फिर से अब बारह सौ नहीं नहीं ये नया डिजाइन है. अब इसका ये देखो, ये स्टडी कर रहा है. नहीं ऐसा होता नहीं है usually. If I go and tell this, मैंने आपको बहुत अच्छा excuse दे दिया. So next time anybody questions कि आप क्यों गाड़ी लेके आ रहे हैं, क्योंकि नहीं इसका design study करना है. इस client ने बोला है कि ये से inspiration लेके. I I am going to use those lines now. Right, right. But so I think about, my wife is already watching this live. So oh. <laughs> it won't work in front of her. But I guess the yeah. other people, for the other people, I think it should work. Yeah, the or the excuses thing is you please. Call me. Yeah, I'll give you a call separately yeah, for yeah. for the excuses. Yes, yes. Don't don't worry at all. We can we can come up with excuses like that. Both experience. Hai. Bachpan se kar rahe. Anyway, <laughs> but uh, but no. Right. So this is great. So so you also write about these cars. आपका कोई blog या Facebook पे या Instagram पे आप अपना hobby को promote करते हैं. I mean, एक business तो है ही है. But as a hobby now, where do you take it? And more importantly, before I forget, lockdown. I mean. For you, so it's okay. Yeah, yeah. Home, we can design cars at home. So you know, for you, it's not going to be closed. Except for the you know prototyping or clay modeling or whatever it is. Because you are doing it for many years. You know, I believe happens online. Yeah, yeah. 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 Y
and you don't it's not like you've paid for something and then you're waiting for a month for it to come in and sometime it comes in broken and some stuff like that so that doesn't happen here you can always right. get in touch with the seller so there are quite a few websites which have uh, opened up in the last 3 4 years which have uh, like really taken the hobby to a next level that way right so do you get now from there bahar se bhi aap uh, import karte hain and all of this stuff so yeah you, you were telling us about this uh, blog or facebook something that, yeah so uh, uh, basically uh, in lockdown what has actually happened is i have uh, because i had the time and i always had the inclination never had the time now i had the time so i right. picked out one model each every day uh-huh. and Achha. i would uh, photo shoot that and i would put it up on my blog i would put it up mm-hmm. on my website i would put it up on facebook and on my facebook uh, page and on instagram so i would i usually what i do is because the kind of models that i collect are pretty rare and not right. a lot of people know about it so i write okay. about these models i write about yeah. in a very layman language uh, that even normal person who doesn't understand any intricacies of design or technical aspects of cars even he would read and understand and i don't i don't write too long i just write about you know maybe about 600 700 words or maybe 1000 words at max with a few pictures that i have clicked and i write about it if it has been a car which i have seen or grown up around then i write about my experience on that car otherwise oh, i write right about the like design significance yeah yeah otherwise i write about why that particular car was famous or is famous or why did i buy it you know there what is the story behind it basically i just try to bring that story uh, uh from a design the, point the, of view yes yes so do you like want for, to inspire other designers ha huh? bataiye yeah so like i was talking about the peel a little while back you know the being the world's smallest car and everything so the story behind it, this is very interesting coming from isle of man so that's something that i wrote about and i shared yeah so that's what i uh, prefer to do right so yeah can you are you also into photography of the scale model cars kyunki kafi sare jo collectors hai wo photography bhi uh, photography mein bhi indulge karte hain and you know they like to share it so obviously when you write about your uh, cars so you must be taking pictures are you a professional photographer kind of a thing no, i am an amateur i am an amateur uh, photographer not a professional photographer and uh, although i have gotten better with uh, you know my clicks over the period of time uh, that i have been clicking but right. I, i i would still prefer to call myself an amateur i am nowhere near a professional you you want to uh, show us some of your pictures or this uh, some something that about this blog or something and all i'll, I'll just hand over uh, the screen yes, to I'll you just, so uh, some of the pictures give us a little bit of info your space yeah i'll share the screen and show you some pictures uh, that i have some of the pictures uh, that i have clicked yeah so uh, right now you are here that you see this is a yamaha rd uh one of the first rd's race drive machines uh that was racing in the uh, you know the moto gp championships for yamaha so this is a 1 is to 12 scaled model uh which i've clicked this is a jaguar uh, tusker squadron and tusker squadron was based out of ambala air force base and i being in being uh, from ambala having studied in the army school ambala so this was something which i had to have in my collection although i'm not a very uh, aircraft uh, fan but this is uh, one of the two aircrafts that i have in my collection so this is a photoshopped uh, you know pre post processed image uh, that i clicked uh, going forward so this is a uh, michelin uh, citroen ds plr basically an 11 wheeled vehicle which was uh, you know made uh, in made for michelin to test their truck tires so this thing has uh, two v8 engines one to drive the car and one to drive the truck tire uh, which sits in the middle and uh, next to it you see the michelin uh, bibendum and a set of tires around it so those are actually 3d printed which is uh, what i do at home i have a 3d printer at home uh, which is an extension to this uh, scale model hobby of mine Uh, a part of my professional uh, um, thing as well but uh, more on the hobby side so this is the 2019 suzuki katana which was 
showcased at the recently concluded uh, auto expo as well uh, this is a model which i had got from uh, japan uh, some time back this is one of the uh, rare concept cars uh, people who play video games would know about uh, the gt game the gran turismo so uh, this is the renault alpine vision gt concept car which was made for uh, particularly for this game right. uh, by the uh, renault design team okay right. so, uh, so this... sorry to interrupt you know but sakar has a question it's there on your screen uh, uh, what is the most unusual interaction or memory you've had with a hot wheels collector or collectors let's see some pictures unusual, as well yeah uh, unusual interaction or memory oh As unusual interaction this screen share screen share can we can can you show us some pictures over there on your screen share yeah yeah cool unusual interaction up uh, so there's no specific unusual interaction uh, but yeah people do get uh, surprised with the fact that you know uh, uh, you know somebody like me has uh, cars like these which uh, a lot, lot of people have not really heard of so the reaction that they give the facial expressions are pretty interesting to look at uh, you know that kind of gives me a kick but uh, apart from that the uh, interactions have been uh, very good you know uh, you know everybody has their own choices and uh, the respect everybody's uh, you know collection the good part about this uh, hobby is that uh, while i cannot have anything everything for myself i can always you know look at the model that the other person has and you know just get get happy about it so it's you know getting happy for somebody else who has another model which probably i wanted long time back so, so very cool let's let's go on with the show thanks so that was sami's uh, question to sami's right. answer so, or photo uh, dikha yaar so this is a photo which i clicked uh, some time back so this is a small uh, 1 to 32 scale cheap uh, bentley uh, which i had i sprayed some uh, talcum powder over it trying to give it a you know a snowed out uh, feel and then eventually i worked on it post process the entire thing and this is uh, i i i came up with something uh, with this i'll i'll just uh, show you the image i think so this is what i came up with as a final uh, photoshopped uh, post processed image from that particular uh photo that i took so i do a lot of uh, in some cases i do a lot of uh, post processing uh just to give the final feel uh, to the uh, you know the picture but otherwise uh, you know i click and i keep them as it is uh, no filters and uh, no post processing on most of these so this is a honda cb750 that i had taken in from uh, uh, from japan So the guy standing next to it is a 3D printed model which I have hand painted myself. So yeah, like I said, you know, I 3D print stuff to go along with my uh, models and with my dioramas. So I print a lot of accessories to go along with these to make it look a little more realistic. Uh, this is one of the cars uh, I had about a decade back, which I got uh, custom painted uh, from a friend of mine. so this uh, copper lining that you see is actually copper film with a very high gloss finish that we did on this another view of uh, that particular car so this was actually orange uh, chevel uh, nova chevy nova ss but we turned it into gunmetal gray with a copper uh, film on there so uh, when this i was is... talking about dioramas so this is one of the yeah. dioramas that yeah. i had uh, built up uh, recently so this is Amazing. basically a plastic uh, toy truck which is available in the market for i think about 200 bucks or something like that and right. uh, using cheap models to break up or using cheap models to use in stuff like this is always uh, pocket friendly so i go for matlab uh, abhi bhi aapki wo bachpan wali todne aur marodne ki aadat gayi nahi abhi bhi wo बचपन की आदत है सर आसानी से जाएगी थोड़ी शाबाश शाबाश यही तो सिद्धा चाहते थे 
जो आपके पास स्केल मॉडल कलेक्शन है हाँ सो उसमें से वन दैट आई वुड रियली वॉन्ट टू हैव इज अल पी फिफ्टी In Are you sure you fit inside that car? I mean, I thought you said it was the world's uh, smallest, uh, smallest car. Yeah, yeah. Then there will be Clarkson fit Abhi. into it. I am smaller than him. Okay, Clarkson fit. Okay, it's that one, the one that he rode around in his uh, BBC studio. Yes, 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 yes. It's the same oh, okay. one. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I, I remember that. That was hilarious. Yes. So Peel P50 is one that I would really want to have in a one is to one scale. Uh, right. The second you one. You want to drive around your studio in that? I mean, it's huge, so I think it will be ideal for you. One place to another place, not going to go. Yeah, I think I think that would make a lot of sense. Yes. Fabulous, fabulous. Or yeah. the next one. So one is the Peel. What else? Yeah, the second one would be a Datsun Five uh, Ten. Uh, you really the... like the Datsun Five Ten, you know? Oh, to be yes. honest with yeah, to be to be honest with you, while growing up and all, we used to have these uh, Japanese cars from the seventies and eighties because. Uh, I was fortunate that my dad was abroad, so we tagged along. But those right. cars were really not that good, you know. Ab jo unka hype hai and the way they've been modded and converted, because back then they were just boxes that would not not break down and give you a decent gas mileage. But otherwise, apart from that, I mean, that's the that's Frankie, one thing. That, that, uh, the yeah. reason why I would the Frankie, the reason why I would actually want to have a Datsun Five Ten is because of its boxy styling. I really Fiat, love the box uh, styling. Why not? Why not the Fiat one three one then? I mean, you know, the the one three one Mira Fiori is a box again. Uh, it is from the yes, same but time period. I would still prefer it's the five ten over the one three one. अरे ऐसे कैसे यार you're from Italy you go to Italy and and, and no, believe if, me if I have to if if I have to uh, take up an Italian car then it won't be the one three one for me it would be the Lancia Fulvia. अरे अभी तो आपने चिंके चेंटो बोला था वो Fiat five hundred वो हॉट व्हील्स वाले में बेस्ट है ना अच्छा वो हॉट व्हील्स वाले में हाँ, वो हॉट व्हील्स वाले उस सेट में बेस्ट है अच्छा ठीक है सो सो द फाइव वन जीरो ओवर द मायरा फ्योरी हाँ दैट इज़ व्हाट यू सेइ या 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 वेट आई आई हैव टू शो यू वन मायरा फ्योरी वन सेकंड द जस्ट द सेकंड यू कैन टॉक अबाउट � Where is the screen gone? You you pulled out the screen. I I pulled out the screen. You were showing me something, right? Yeah. So I need to just go and get it. So uh, okay. yeah. So pull the screen on. Talk about a picture for a minute. I'll be back in a second. Pull the screen all right, up. All right. Yeah. Yeah. And so yeah, you, just talk about that. I want to show you that. Um, okay. So this is one of those cars from the uh, Hot Wheels Gulf uh, series, which came out recently. Which I had said that. One second. You know, they were oh, sorry, really nice cars. Third, third वाली कार आपने बताया नहीं. First answer that, then I can. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. So third car that I would want to have is a Mustang. Preferably a Shelby GT uh, 500, the LNR. If at all I can have that. That would be something really, really nice to have. Uh, the one from the movie Gone in 60 Seconds. Right. So I'll just take you through uh, you know, the rest of the photographs. This is a Lamborghini Miura concept from 2006. This is a 1S64 scaled uh, Kyosho model. Uh, this car was actually made uh, as a homage to the original Miura 40 years down the line. Uh, never really went into production. Only one was made as a concept car, and that sits in the Lamborghini Museum in Italy. So, like I said, you know, another figurine uh, to go along with a bike of mine, the Suzuki Katana from 1982. The original uh, bikini fed uh, 1100 cc super bike that came out from Suzuki, which really changed the world, uh, the the way the world looked at uh, bikes back then. For sure, this has to be my favorite and you know most influential bike from 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 back in my times because uh, when this bike, I remember when this bike actually came out. Uh, yeah. The air, there was nothing that looked like this on the street. I mean, yes. you know, that type. That was the age of Battlestar Galactica and all of those uh, crazy sci-fi movies and all. And when this thing came out, it's like, you know, the future was here because they had those flying bikes and that. And then this looked so so similar to something that uh, those guys uh, would fly in and in on to Earth with. And uh, yeah, this bike was. Uh, This bike was actually my... space 
before its time. I would Way say. ahead. Yeah. So I, I've got what I wanted to show you here. Yeah. Look at this. Just, just a minute. Yes. Oh, yes. I have this 131 with me as well. That's a right. part of my so, so Yes. Yeah, so the, the, the question again, 510 or the 131? I mean, come on. You know, growing up, I was partial because... I know you are... A, I know you are a die-hard Fiat fan, but I'm not. <laughs> we used to have one of these uh, 131, uh, you know, the four-door one, actually, for a few years. And we also had the Jap cars and we also had the uh, Volkswagen square, square bags and all of those cars that, believe me, out of the hype that those cars have got right now, and back then they were, no, no, no. This... The Fiat never let us down. It was, it was, it was brilliant. And for me personally, you know, uh, having been there at that point in time, uh, grown up with these cars, push them sometimes uh, when they break down. So yeah, we've had our memories, and not that the Jap cars broke down, but the, but uh, the Volkswagen uh, certainly did. The Fiats never. So yeah, my my personal experience has been yeah, the, I, I take the one three one over the over the five one zero any day, any day. That's okay. That's okay. I'm 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 still happy with my five one ten five five ten. We must we must have a race. You and me get your jack car. I get my target. You, you and race any which way, you know. My car will get bogged down under my weight only. Oh yeah, I have I have that advantage. I'm sorry, but uh, yes. yeah, I I try and do that and all because yeah, uh, racing is something that I really like. But you're an you're an avid uh, you know uh, rally guy as well uh, i believe yes. you, you go out and you do rallies as as a navigator you, yes. you you hop on your bike and you do these long distance things and all and uh, yes. it's it, it's absolutely amazing you know how much uh, you know the, you as an individual has grown up with your hobby of uh, die cars cars aur usko leke aapne apna passion to banaya hai lekin usko jis hisab se aapne apni जिंदगी को फैशन किया है और जिस हिसाब से आपकी जिंदगी और पूरी आपका जो लाइफ सर्कल है और सोशल इकोनॉमिक स्ट्रक्चर इज ऑल अराउंड योर हॉबी आई थिंक यू आर वेरी वेरी फॉर्चुनेट टू हैव बीन वन ऑफ पीपल हैज बीन एबल टू फॉलो हिज पैशन एंड कन्वर्टेड इन टू अ करियर एंड मेक इट मेक अ ड्रीम कम ट्रू आई मीन हुईब लाइक दैट Uh, yes. I'm sure there's really? a lot of hard work uh, involved. Not just living the dream, but apart, it's also the fact that even as a designer, that I was able to uh, make and be a part of projects which are actually made to production, and they're running on Indian roads. So that's even you know, more that, fabulous. That, you know, the feathers in the wing, and uh, maybe the stars on the shoulders, or whatever you want to call it. But mm -hmm. all of that, it's, it's, it's. I mean, if I had the, if somebody asked me to, you know, change one thing, or maybe. how i would want my entire life to pan out again i would probably you know go back the same uh, route and do it you exactly. don't have to make any changes my friend i think you 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 have a very inspirational story and you know it's it's great for other people who are going to be watching this or you know would be designers or you know um ki if he can do it you know it is possible it might be hard and all but now i believe the market is opening up and besides uh, they can always come to you for advice so uh, it was fun yeah it was fantastic Most having welcome. you on the show very insightful uh, you, so you know the stuff that you shared with us and uh, you know an hour has gone by and uh, we didn't even know that you know we we, we spent an hour talking uh, about so many wonderful yes. things uh, that are there but uh, thanks for taking the time out i hope the covid situation is it was a well. pleasure it was like, a pleasure to come here and talk with you everyone is keeping safe and uh, i think now that you're allowed to go out your collection we can only hope it grows uh we'd love to see you at the next meet up don't be a busy boy uh, no 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 i'll be there i'll be there for sure you come and join us i'm sure a lot of uh, folks would like to you know uh, know more about what you do how you do and things like that and thanks for being such a big inspiration for us man thank you so much thank you so much Hi right, guys with that uh, I think uh, we're going to end the show thanks to Ashish for uh, joining us spending uh, a lot of his valuable time and giving us insights into the collection world the photography you see and also the uh, career that he's taken up and uh, made out of himself some people go on to become journalists some people go on to become photographers this man he makes cars I only wonder does it have Ashish the gaddi written behind it <laughs> no it still says oh. maruti suzuki <laughs> ah and i know that 
Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you guys Bye. next time with another guest on Let's Talk. Till then, thank you so much. Bye. Yeah. Bye.